In this session, let us talk about the tenses in English. Tense means the time at which the action of the verb takes place. Let us see some sentences here. I take lunch at 1 p.m. That means usually I take lunch at 1 p.m. My brother took three promotions in three years. Here the underlined word took. My brother took three promotions in three years. So here the time of the action expressed here in this sentence is a past action. We shall take dinner at a restaurant. Here the underlined word, that is the verb. We shall take dinner at a restaurant. So it expresses futurity. That means the time is sometime in future. So the tense of these sentences, three sentences, is different. The first sentence, it expresses a usual sense. And the second one, it expresses the past event. The third sentence, it expresses future event. So, the tense here what we notice is the time at which the action of the verb takes place. Sentence 1 refers to something that takes place in the present time and sentence 2 refers to something that took place in the past. Sentence 3 refers to something that will take place in future. That way present, past and future, present, past and future. These are the three main tenses. Telukuda, Bhota, Bhavishyat, Vartamano. Ataga, present, past, future tenses and it won't be English Lokuda, Ante. Modu Pradhana, and it won't be tenses. A modu. Example slow. I take lunch 1 p.m. which expresses the present as well as usual activity. Second one, the past activity which took place sometime in the past. We shall take dinner. It expresses futurity. So that way past, present, and the future, present, past and future. These are the three main tenses in English. Let us see what are the different varieties again in the present, past and future tenses. Now look at these sentences. I take, I am taking, I have taken, I have been taking. So, the verb is take, but in the case of the first sentence, it is in present indefinite or simple present. I take, I take lunch every day at 1 p.m. So, it is a usual activity, present indefinite or simple present. I am taking, now it is lunch time, I am taking lunch. Now, it is present continuous. I have taken lunch just now. I have finished it. I have taken lunch just now. Present perfect. I have been taking, I have been, I have been taking lunch for the past half an hour or 20 minutes like that or 15 minutes. I have been taking for the last 20 minutes like that. It is present perfect continuous. So, again in present tense, there are one, two, three, four, four kinds of tenses. What are they? 
present indefinite or simple present present continuous and then present perfect and present perfect continuous these are all uh, the tenses which refer to the present time now look at the sentence one i take lunch at 1 pm here the verb is said to be in the present indefinite or simple present tense because it makes a simple statement without indicating definitely whether the action is complete or not so that's why it is present indefinite tense or simple present tense now look at the sentence two i am taking lunch now that means that action is now in progress the sentence shows that the action is going on at the time of speaking or expression so the tense of the verb is present progressive or present continuous tense so that is the sentence in present continuous tense look at the third sentence i have taken i have taken lunch just now so here the sentence shows that the action has just completed or perfected that's why the tense is called the tense of the verb is called present perfect tense the tense of the verb is said to be in present perfect tense so in the kumundi jarigana pane what in the present perfect tense lo cheptam already jarigindi adika manam discuss chestam ipudu ikkada i am taking ipudu teesukuntunnam ipudu bhojanam chestunnanu this is present continuous is simple per present or present indefinite so i take lunch at 1 pm every day i am taking lunch now this is present continuous this is present perfect i have taken just now i have taken lunch just now this is present perfect present perfect continuous i have been taking lunch for the last 20 minutes the verb in the sentence is said to be in present perfect continuous tense and here the verb indicates that the action which is started some time ago in the past is still going on continuously eppudu gathanlo prarambham ayi inka adi jarugutune unnad anamata so alanti విషయాలను చెప్పేటప్పుడు మనం ఏ టెన్స్ ఉపయోగిస్తాం ప్రజెంట్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ కంటిన్యూస్ ఐ బీన్ టేకింగ్ లంచ్ ఫర్ ద లాస్ట్ ట్వంటీ మినిట్స్ ఐ హ్ బీన్ వర్కింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఫర్ ద లాస్ట్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ అని ఒకరు చెప్పారనుకో ఫర్ ద లాస్ట్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ సిన్స్ ట్వంటీ ఇయర్స్ అని అంటుంటారు ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ కరెక్ట్ అక్కడ ఫర్ అనేటువంటి ప్రపజిషన్ ఉపయోగించాలి అదే పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ టైం ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ అంటే ఎప్పుడవుతుంది ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ అంటే నైన్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ నైంటీ టూ నైన్టీన్ నైంటీ టూ దెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ అగో దిస్ ఈస్ టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ సో యూ స్టార్టెడ్ సపోజ్ వర్కింగ్ in an institution or somewhere then what do you say i have been working since 1992 when you express the point of time you have to use a since in this uh, present perfect continuous tense if the sentence is said to be in uh, present perfect continuous the actions might have started some time ago in the past and it is still going on so in such case if period of time is mentioned in the sentence you have to use for if the point of time is mentioned then you have to use since we find several people saying that i have been working here since 15 years 
have been waiting for you since two hours. Since two hours, I'm going to for the two hours. For two hours, if the if we are mentioning the period of time, it should be for. If you are mentioning point of time, then since. Okay, that is the criteria which we have to follow in the case of this present perfect continuous tense. Now let's move on to past tense. Just as the past present tense has four forms, even the past tense also has four different forms. What are they? Past indefinite or simple past tense. Past continuous. past perfect and past perfect continuous present indefinite past indefinite present continuous past continuous present perfect past perfect present perfect continuous and this is past perfect continuous look i took i took my lunch at 1 pm yesterday and the past continuous said i was taking yesterday i was taking lunch at 1:30 pm i had taken past perfect i had taken i had been taking gathalo eppudu prarambhai kontha kaalam gadichi aagipoyindi అలాంటి విషయాలను చెప్పేటప్పుడు ఇప్పటిదాకా నడవడం లేదు గతంలో ఎప్పుడో స్టార్ట్ అయింది కొంతకాలం గడిచింది ఆగిపోయింది దాన్ని ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ చేసేటప్పుడు పాస్ట్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ కంటిన్యూస్ అండ్ పాస్ట్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ ఆల్సో ఈజ్ యూస్డ్ వెన్ వీ వాంట్ టు ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ ద అర్లియర్ పాస్ట్ యాక్షన్ వెన్ యూ ఆర్ ఎక్స్ప్రెసింగ్ టూ పాస్ట్ యాక్షన్స్ ఇన్ ఎ సెంటెన్స్ ద అర్లియర్ పాస్ట్ యాక్షన్ ఈస్ టు బి ఎక్స్ప్రెస్డ్ ఇన్ దిస్ past perfect and the later past event is to be expressed in simple past tense okay and now let us see those things and all other details in future tense also we have got four forms what are they future indefinite or simple future future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous what are the forms i shall take take is the main verb we have taken framing sentences in different tenses i shall take shall is the helping verb or will shall or will for i and we first person pronouns shall shall be the helping verb when we express the sentence in future indefinite or simple future tense i shall be taking future continuous again will be you will be you will be taking he will be taking she will be taking like that for i and we shall is the helping verb and for all other things you second person he she it they third person for all the second and third person pronouns and other things we have to use will i shall have taken so perfect tense this is for the perfect tense we have to use not only shall and we have to use have also as the helping verb and then for future perfect continuous shall have been taking so that way future tense also has got four forms one is future indefinite or simple future second one future continuous third one future perfect fourth one future perfect continuous so these are the different tenses again in respect of future tense okay how do we use these tenses different tenses and where do we use let us see present indefinite tense 
or simple present tense, it is used in these situations. Present indefinite tense tells what actually happens at the time of speaking. Rohit comes here. I am waiting for him. He plays badminton. The wind blows very fiercely. The things which happen at the time of speaking. When we are expressing these things, it is, these things are happening. So, these happen at the time of speaking. The present indefinite tense or simple present tense is used to express a habitual action. Habitual action. Usually, these things will happen. Birds fly in the air. Birds don't fly in water. Birds fly in the air. Cows eat grass. It is a habitual action. Hema writes with her left hand. Usually everybody writes with right hand. The present indifferent tense is used to express a habitual action. For instance, birds fly in the air, cows eat grass, Hema writes with her left hand, my father goes for a walk every morning. These are all habitual actions. So, for expressing a habitual action, we use this simple present tense or present indefinite tense. Present indefinite tense is also used to express some general or universal truths. General truth or universal truth. For instance, man is mortal. Manavudu marchudu. And maranam unnatu unnatu vade gani. Kalakala unnatu vade gani. Man is mortal. The earth revolves around the sun. Sugar is sweet. Sugar is sweet. Heat expands bodies. So, these are all universal truths or general truths. So, when we want to express a universal truth, we have to use this present indefinite tense. And the sentence, whatever we express, shall be in this simple present tense or present indefinite tense. And during a narration, which begins in simple past tense, suddenly if we want to switch over to some information, then we use simple present tense there. It is a trick used by the narrator to make the past events seem immediate. Adi pude zariginatuga managani pin challenge pesi. A narrator ru a trick kupoye gistad. Evde di simple past tense lone narration chaptu. Majlo simple present tense kupoye gistay. Gaval manke mupistundi a vine valku manamundi adi zaruthu natlu an pistundar mat. So during a narration which begins in simple past tense, suddenly the narrator switches over to simple present tense. That is the trick used by the narrator to make the past events seem immediate. Let us see some more examples. For instance, once there lived a king. One day he rode into a forest for a hunt. Now the narration started with simple past tense. Lived. Once there lived a king. And one day he rode into a forest for a hunt. At one place, he listens to the sound of a roaring lion at a distance behind a bush. So, during the narration, the narrator starts using simple present tense. He shoots two arrows in that direction. After some time, he goes to search behind the bush. The lion escapes and he finds a deer hit with two arrows because he shoot, 
he tried to shoot, he shoot, he shot two arrows uh, in the direction where he noticed a roaring lion. He listened to the sound of a roaring lion and in that direction he shot two arrows. But when he goes there to search behind the bush, the lion escapes and he finds only a deer hit with two arrows. Okay? Alaga, simple past tense thoti. Katha modali bati, machalo. Simple present tense gana gopaya gishte. Adi manamundu edo zaruttu nattaka, apadaka apadaka zaruttu nattaka, manaka ani pinchitam kosaramai. Avidhanga chiptar. Okay? And now, let's move on to next thing. Present indefinite tense is also used to represent a future action when its futurity is clear from the context. For instance, the college reopens on next Monday. So, simple present also expresses some future action. We go to Chennai tomorrow, not today, tomorrow. So, immediate future. So, present indefinite tense also represents a future action. The chief minister returns next Saturday. So, these are all the sentences in simple present tense or present indefinite tense expressing a future action. Present continuous. This present continuous tense is used to represent an action that is going on at the time of speaking. For instance, it is raining. The child is sleeping. Mother is cooking food. All these things happen at the time of speaking. So, present continuous tense is used to represent an action that is going on at the time of speaking. It is also used to indicate a future action in an informal way. So, let us see some examples for that. For instance, I am going to Delhi on Friday. I am going, not now, I am going to Delhi on Friday. My brother is coming soon from USA. He is coming soon, not just now. Very soon he is coming. They are playing a match next Sunday, not today. They are playing next a match next Sunday. So that way, your future action also is expressed by using present continuous tense. Present continuous tense expresses not only action that is going on, but it also expresses a future action. Present perfect tense. It is used to express an action just completed. For instance, the children have done their homework. homework Now they are playing games. Suman has applied for a new job. We have taken tea just now. Put a tea this now. Just now. So, even if the present perfect tense is used to express an action just completed. Into mundi hindi. Into mundi jari na panlu e tense lo chapran daruto. It is also used to refer to a past action the impact of which is still enjoyed. I have studied the law course in Osmania University some time ago. Kani effect, impact, because of the course which you have done in Osmania University some time ago. So, a past action 
whose impact is still now being enjoyed, then we have to use such expression in this present perfect tense. We have lived in this house for 15 years. So, we have lived in this house for 15 years. Likewise, we can use present perfect tense to refer to a past action where the impact is still being enjoyed. The impact of which is still enjoyed. In such case, we have to express the idea in present perfect tense. Okay? Present perfect tense. So, present perfect tense is used to express an action just completed and it is also used to express a past action, the impact of which is still being enjoyed. Now, it is wrong to say, I have sent a mail to him yesterday. These are the general uh, wrong things, I mean, wrong expressions being done. I have sent a mail to him yesterday. We have seen him last week. No definite point of time should be mentioned when present perfect tense is used. I yesterday any, last week any. Atlaga, a perfect point of time, a definite point of time should not be mentioned when we are using present perfect tense. If we have to mention a definite point of time, then we have to use simple past tense but not present perfect tense. I sent a mail to him yesterday. We saw him last week. We have seen him last week and until expression correct call. We saw him last week. Last week in a chapel we saw him last week. We have to mention a definite point of time. If we mention a definite point of time, then we have to use only simple past tense but not present perfect tense. Now we move on to other things. Past indefinite Simple past tense. Past indefinite expresses a past action. I went to my friend's house yesterday. Chief guest gave an inspiring speech. The monkey climbed the tree. So here in all these sentences, a past action or event is expressed. The past indefinite tense is also used in the sense of used to do expression used to do, to express a habitual action in the past, we may have to use the past indefinite tense, right? See, look at the instances where we use that way. The past indefinite tense are simple past tense. While in college, he studied eight hours a day. That means, he studied means here, he used to study eight hours a day when he studied in college. When he is in college, he studied eight hours a day. That means, he used to study eight hours a day. Edison sold newspapers. That means, he used to sell newspapers before he became a famous inventor, a famous scientist, Edison. Thomas Alva Edison is a great scientist. He sold newspapers before he became a famous inventor. So, he sold. He sold an eight-twenty. Used it to sell. Apuru ala apanu cheedan galvat padadu. He used to sell. We played. Means we used to play. Eighty on the bank of river in our school days. School of Zadukuni Rodolo, Apakare on Nadi Oduna, Adukuni Ardu. And then we used to play. So, a habitual action in the past can also be expressed 
when we use past indefinite tense or simple past tense. Let us see some more incidents. Past continuous tense. The past continuous tense is used to represent an action which happened at some time in the past. Say, which, which was happening. I, it was raining when we went out. When we went out, it was raining. Not now. The girls were dancing last night at 8 p.m. Ratri dance So, Ivani Gatamulo Yapro Jarutu Nai. Gatamulo Jarinadi past indefinite. Gatamulo Jarutu Kondagalum. Jarutu Nindite past continuous. It was raining when we went out. The girls were dancing last night at 8 p.m. He was hiding in the bathroom when TC came on rounds. In the train, TCs come and check up for the tickets bought by the passengers. But a man was hiding in the bathroom when the TC came. He was hiding. He was hiding. So these are all the past actions which happened at some time in the past. Past perfect tense. In this past perfect tense, what is, what do we find? What does it denote? The past perfect tense denotes an action completed at some point of time in the past before some other past action. Say for instance, I had seen him before he left for UK. What do you do? He left for UK already. But I had seen him before he left for UK. So here, in this past perfect tense, when we express a sentence in this past perfect tense, there will be two past events or past actions that took place. And among the two past actions, the earlier action shall be expressed in this past perfect tense and later past event shall be expressed in simple past tense. So, I had seen him before he left, before he left. He is leaving and my seeing him. What happened first? I, I had seen him before he left. What UK Vellaka Mundu ne chuchan? UK Vellada Mohi Boindi? The earlier past action shall be expressed in this past perfect tense. So that's why I had seen him before he left for UK. Nehra had taken two wickets before the play was interrupted by the rain. During the play, at some point of time, there was rain and rain interrupted the game. But before that, Nehra had taken two wickets before the play was interrupted by the rain. The train had already left before we reached the station. But before that, the train had left. The train had already left the station before we reached the station. Okay. Rendu jarigina pannu lo, mundu jarigina pannu manamu ee past perfect tense lo cheppu kuntamu. So, that is how we go with past perfect tense. Next, future indefinite tense or simple future tense. This future indefinite tense denotes an action or event which is still to take place in future. For instance, we shall buy a new house in the city next month, not now. Next month, we shall buy a new house in the city. City lo, o kota illu, konu kunnaum. Eppudu, ippudu kaadu, inga manak ravalsan double unai, 
the next month. So, that way when we want to express an event or an action which is still to take place, that means which is going to take place sometime in future. So, in such instances we use simple future tense or future indefinite. I shall tell him the truth. So far I have not tell, I have not told him the truth, but I shall tell him truth sometime in future. He will certainly pass the test. Varu test to tapaka pass out that. Bhagat is weird word. Inka test to vedale. He will pass the test in future. Varu parishra asado pass a putar. He will certainly pass. Until the bhaga confidence in the matter. He will certainly pass the test. So, that way, simple future tense or future indefinite tense is used. Future continuous, it represents an action that may be taking place at some point of time in future. Bhavishyatlo jarutu untundadi. I shall be going to USA tomorrow evening. So, tomorrow evening, I will be flying to USA. I shall be going to USA tomorrow evening. We shall be visiting Uti in the summer. That means not now. We shall be visiting Uti. We shall be visiting when? We shall be visiting Uti when? We shall be visiting Uti in summer, coming summer. They will be meeting at the club this evening. Not now. They will be meeting at the club this evening. He will be waiting for us tomorrow morning. He will be waiting for us tomorrow morning. So, in all these sentences, the action of the verb denotes this meaning. What is that? action that may be taking place at some point of time in future. Bhavishyatlo epdo vakanoka samayalo jarutu undeetu vanti pannu. What ni gurchi e future continuous tense lo manu chepta. Future perfect tense. Future perfect tense denotes that some action will be completed before a certain point of time in future. This is future perfect tense. Instance, for instance, let us see some sentences. I shall have taken bath before he comes. That means, the action will be completed before a certain point of time in future. I shall have taken bath. Uh, taking bath will be completed sometime in future before he comes. What was that? What rock mundu? Then Sana Jesus ready unta. We shall have completed half the course by Diwali. By Diwali, we shall have completed half the course. Santa will have gone to Mumbai before Mohan will arrive. Santa will have gone to Mumbai. Yapuru, Yapuru Viltundi Santa, Mohanu, Rakamundu. Mohanu was third. Ad Rakamundu, Yime Viltundi. So, this future perfect tense is used. The verb is used in future perfect tense to denote an action that will be completed before a certain point of time in future. Okay, present perfect continuous. In this present perfect continuous, the action started some time ago in the past and it will be continued and it is still going on also. For instance, who have been waiting to receive you for the last three hours? We have been waiting to receive you for the last three hours. Or we have been waiting to receive you since 9 a.m. 
ఉదయం తొమ్మిది గంటల నుంచి నీ కోసం చూస్తాం అని చెప్పాను కదా పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ టైం త్రీ అవర్స్ దెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు యూస్ ఫర్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ టైం నైన్ ఏఎం దెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు యూస్ సిన్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ బీన్ వెయిటింగ్ టు రిసీవ్ యూ ఫర్ ద లాస్ట్ త్రీ అవర్స్ ఆర్ వీ హ్యావ్ బీన్ వెయిటింగ్ టు రిసీవ్ యూ సిన్స్ నైన్ ఏఎం హీ హ్యాస్ బీన్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ ఎ లెక్చరర్ ఇన్ దిస్ కాలేజ్ సిన్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ టెన్ ఏడి సిన్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ టెన్ టూ థౌజండ్ టెన్ నుంచి పనిచేస్తున్నాడు దట్ మీన్స్ ఫర్ ద లాస్ట్ సెవెన్ ఇయర్స్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ ఎ లెక్చరర్ ఇన్ దిస్ కాలేజ్ ఫర్ ద లాస్ట్ సెవెన్ ఇయర్స్ అలాగ ఫాస్ట్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ కంటిన్యూస్ ఫాస్ట్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ కంటిన్యూస్టెన్స్ డినోట్స్ అండ్ యాక్షన్ స్టార్టెడ్ సమ్ టైమ్ ఎగో ఇన్ ద పాస్ట్ అండ్ కంటిన్యూడ్ ఫర్ సమ్ మోర్ టైమ్ అండ్ ఎండెడ్ it is over for instance he had been working as a tutor in this college the same person who is now working as a lecturer he worked he had been working as a tutor in this college from 2001 to 9 and since 2010 he has been working as a lecturer now he is a lecturer he is still working as a lecturer but before 2009 he had been working as a tutor in this same college from 2001 to 2009 future perfect continuous future perfect continuous tense denotes an action that may start at some point of time in future and continue for some time in future he will have been working as the principal of this college after 2020 now he is working as a lecturer from 2010 onwards and by after 2020 he may be working he will have been working as the principal of this college so sometime in future the action will start and will continue for some time in future in such case we have to use future perfect continuous so that way future perfect continuous tense can be used now tenses in english let's revise first one present indefinite or simple present for instance i take lunch by 1:30 pm every day past indefinite or simple past tense i took lunch by 1:30 pm yesterday future indefinite or simple future i shall take lunch by 1:30 pm tomorrow i took lunch by 1:30 pm yesterday and i shall take lunch by 1:30 pm tomorrow i take lunch by 1:30 pm every day so these three are present indefinite past indefinite future indefinite so indefinite tenses are three are simple present simple past simple future simple tenses there are three then continuous tenses present continuous tense past continuous tense future continuous tense present continuous now it is going on now it is 1:30 pm today i am taking lunch now i was taking lunch at 1:30 pm yesterday at exactly at 1:30 pm i was taking lunch yesterday gatanlo oka anoka samayamlo aa pani jarugutu undi i shall be taking lunch at 1:30 pm tomorrow repu malla 1:30 pm appu nenu lunch chestu untanu that is future continuous that action will be going on at a particular point of time in future so continuous tenses ఇప్పుడు జరుగుతూ ఉన్న పని గతంలో జరుగుతూ ఉండిన పని ఇక ముందు జరుగుతూ ఉండబోయే పని ఇట్లా జరుగుతూ ఉండడం ఇప్పుడు జరుగుతూ ఉండడం గతంలో జరుగుతూ ఉండడం ఇక ముందు జరుగుతూ ఉండడం ఇలాగ ఈ మూడింటిని మనం కంటిన్యూస్ టెన్సెస్ అంటాం ప్రజెంట్ కంటిన్యూస్ టెన్స్ పాస్ట్ కంటిన్యూస్ టెన్స్ అండ్ ఫ్యూచర్ కంటిన్యూస్ టెన్స్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ టెన్సెస్ perfect tense is again three present perfect tense past perfect tense and f- 
future perfect tense. These are the three perfect tenses. Present perfect tense, इन्तक मुंदे जरिएंदे. Just now, the action has completed. I have taken lunch just now. Past perfect tense. गतन लो रेंडु पनलो जरिएंदे, अंदु लो मुंदु जरिएंदे पननी, past perfect tense लो चेपताम. तरवाथ जरिएंदे पननी, simple past tense लो चेपताम. I had taken lunch before you came to me yesterday. I had taken lunch before you came to me yesterday. The train had already left before we reached the station. The train had already left before we reached. I have already left. Our train is going to be very good. So, past perfect tense. I had taken lunch before you came yesterday. No, raka poro me ne nu lunch esha. Adi past perfect tense. Similarly, future perfect tense. I shall have taken lunch before you come to me tomorrow. Mu re poche re pagadi ne nu. It is future perfect tense. I shall have taken lunch before you come. Present perfect continuous tense. Past perfect continuous and future perfect continuous. Perfect continuous tense will marla mood unai. Present perfect continuous. I have been taking lunch for the last 20 minutes. Gada yera vini mshala gari anu. Lunch chesthu naan. Ippudu uda chesthu naan. I have been taking lunch. Past perfect continuous. I had been taking lunch from 1 pm to 1.30 pm yesterday. Gata nilu yepudu modal petti kwanta kaalan zari ai po indi. Adi past perfect continuous. Future perfect continuous. I shall have been taking lunch from 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. tomorrow. Repu, 1 gandha ku, nunchi 1 gandha mappai nimshal varku, nil lunch cheshtu untaan. I shall have been taking lunch from 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. tomorrow. So that way, perfect continuous tenses are three. Present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous and future perfect continuous. So that way, we have indefinite tenses or simple tense tenses three. Indefinite or simple tenses are three: present, past, and future. Then, continuous tenses three: present continuous, past continuous, and future continuous. Perfect perfect tenses: present perfect tense, past perfect tense. And future perfect tense. Perfect continuous, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, and future perfect continuous. Altogether, 12 tenses are there. What are those 12 tenses? We can very easily sum up simple tenses or indefinite tenses. Three present indefinite, past indefinite. Future indefinite. Continuous tenses. Present continuous, past continuous and future continuous. Then perfect tenses. Present perfect tense, past perfect tense and future perfect tense. Similarly, perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous and Future perfect continuous. So that way we have got 4 into 3, 12 tenses in English. Whereas in Telugu we don't have these many tenses. There may be only 3 present, past, and future. Main. Okay? Wish you all the best.